welcome to the first theater Thursday. Today's musical is Catch Me If You Can. Uh, this was on Broadway. I don't know what theater it played in, but it was on Broadway. And uh, I actually saw the tour of it when it came to the Orpheum Theater in Minneapolis in December of 2012. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Catch Me If You Can. Um, Catch Me If You Can is about a story of a young boy, uh, he's a teenager, his parents are getting divorced and he has to choose between which one he wants to go live with. So instead of choosing, what he does is he runs away and he successfully poses as a pilot, a doctor, and a lawyer. And he forges millions of dollars in checks and he gets away with it. And finally the FBI are after him and they can't find him and they can't find him and then finally they find him in an airport. He wasn't the pilot then, but they found him in an airport when he was escaping to his next spot. And uh, they took him under arrest and he actually got out early for um, good behavior. And the FBI agent who caught him actually became the godfather of his kids, which is pretty cool. Um, this is a true story about a guy named Frank Abagnale Jr. who lived, oh, I don't know how many years ago, maybe 1960s? Sorry if I'm wrong on that, but maybe around then. Yeah, so it's a, it's a great plot. It's so much fun to watch and the music is so amazing. Like, at the beginning, Frank Abagnale Jr. kind of, like, tells you like, oh, we're in this TV set. It's like you're watching me on TV, which is kind of funny because Catch Me If You Can is also a movie. Um, the songs in this musical are Live and Living Color, The Pinstripes Are All That They See, Someone Else's Skin, Jet Set, Live and Living Color Reprise, Don't Break the Rules, The Pinstripes Are All That They See Reprise, Butter Out of Cream, The Man Inside the Clues, Christmas is my favorite time of year, and my favorite time of year, and that closes out Act 1. And then for Act 2, there's Doctor's Orders, Live in Living Color Reprise Again, Don't Be a Stranger, Little Boy Be a Man, Seven Wonders, Our Family Tree, Fly Fly Away, Goodbye, which played at the beginning of this video, and Strange But True. And also there's a bonus track if you buy the album on iTunes, it's called 50 Checks. It was actually cut from the tour, I don't know if it was in the Broadway show, but they did not sing it in the tour. In the Broadway musical, Frank Abagnale Jr. was played by Aaron Tveit. I don't really know how to pronounce his name, to be completely honest, but I think it's Tveit. I've heard Tveit a lot, so I'm gonna go with Tveit. Um, and... In the show I saw, Frank Abagnale Jr. was played by Stephen Anthony. And I'll give you a little insight on Frank Abagnale, like, nowadays. Like, what he's doing, what he did with his life after he got out of jail and everything. Um, so I'm reading this from the playbill. It's down here. So I'm just going to read that to you quick. It says, Frank W. Abagnale is one of the world's leading authorities on secure documents, fraud, and embezzlement. He has been associated with the FBI for more than 35 years. Abagnale has been married for more than 34 years, is the father of three sons, and has three grandchildren. He is the author of several books on crime, including Catch Me If You Can, and is a world-renowned public speaker who has keynoted more than 3,000 events in more than 30 years on the lecture circuit. Steven Spielberg said it best, I didn't immortalize Frank Abagnale on film because of what he did 40 years ago as a teenager. I chose to immortalize him on film because of what he'd done for his country for more than 30 years. So I think that's pretty cool how he can go from a teenager who's messing up his life by stealing all this money right back to working for the FBI to help them recognize people like him. So I hope you enjoyed this Theater Thursday. Check next week for the next one. I don't know what musical I'll be doing yet, but I definitely have a lot of options. 